Hey guys, Scott here in the Eastwood Garage. Broken plastic tabs and clips seem to be one of the most annoying things that can happen when you're working on a project or even around the house. Whether it's a headlight, a fan shroud, interior parts, or even household items like a vacuum, broken plastic can be a pain. The Eastwood Hot Stapler will repair these broken parts and save you hundreds of dollars as well as time and frustration. The Hot Stapler plastic repair system comes with three different types of staples to use depending on the part that needs to be repaired. There's a flat staple, which is great for long cracks, a wave staple, which you would use for structural applications and short cracks, and a corner staple that is great for 90 degree tabs and posts. Since not all plastics are the same, the hot stapler has three heat settings, depending on the material you're working with, low, medium, and high. For example, a headlight tab with a heavier duty urethane will require high heat, while the vacuum cleaner tab will only require low heat because it's a lower quality plastic. To use the hot stapler, first select the staple you'll be using. Because this vacuum tab is at 90 degree position, I am going to use the corner staple. Place the staple in one of the mounting positions on the wand that best fits your project. There's a 45 degree position, a 90 degree position, and a 180 degree position. So you can attack the project at many different angles. Once your staple is in the correct position, select the heat setting that matches the material thickness. For the vacuum tab, we'll use the low setting. Next. Hold down the button on the wand for about 10 seconds or until the staple begins to smoke. Once the staple is hot enough, press it into the plastic until it reaches about half the depth of the material. Release the heat button on the wand and let the molten plastic firm up before removing the wand from the staple. Repeat this process until the tab you're repairing is secure. I also added two wave staples on top for extra strength. You'll be left with excess material from the staple sticking out the back of the piece. Use a pair of side cutters to cut the legs off the staples as close to the plastic as possible. If you're looking for a smooth finish on the tab, then use a die grinder to smooth out the staple completely. We have used the hot stapler for a variety of repairs around the shop, including a headlight tab Matt repaired on one of his vehicles. The plastic was a thicker urethane, but the process is completely the same. Select the staple, and in this case, he used a wave staple because of the mounting position and the tab was completely broken. He used the high heat setting because of the material thickness, and then place the staples in the plastic. Within minutes, he fixed the headlight and was back on the road. I've even used this to repair a battery hold down on my trusty headlamp. If you're looking to save time and money by repairing plastic parts instead of replacing them, then you'll need to check out the Eastwood Hot Stapler. For more information on this product or to be able to purchase it, you can click or tap the button in the corner or follow the link that appears on screen.